Hi everyone. Wow, it's another geeky video. Um, and I have just spent an absolute fortune. Um, one of the most popular videos on our channel um, has been about how we get internet in our caravan. And um, I'll put a link up um, to that video. And it was about a really cheap 4G router that we um, have and we stuck it to the side of the caravan initially ran some cables through the window after that we um, ran some cables through where the external 240 volt socket would go just to power it and it literally just suckered onto the outside of the van um, I can't remember exact prices but it was under 50 quid that we paid for it I think it was closer to 30 it'll be in the other video that I've linked it's been really really good um, we've loved it it is still good however it's 4g only and it can only take 10 devices connected to it and I'm trying to find excuses the reality is I'm a geek We've had it for over a year. I have so many Wi-Fi devices in here you would not believe um, that what I have done is decided that I want something that's 5G. So whereas my 4G would be getting 20 to 30 meg down, a couple of meg up, 5G, and I'll put in the corner up here again, so I'm sat to the side, um, a little video of a screen, te uh, a speed speed test. Um, we can get 300 meg plus download, and we're getting up to 20 meg upload. For someone that's doing YouTube videos, and I do them on... Um, a DJI Pocket 3 mainly, some bits on my phone, and I edit them on my phone. I like to upload them while we're still away. So being able to have a decent upload speed is really important. Um, and we VPN to home. I've got home automation that includes the caravan with our solar, our lithium, all videos, a big long list. Um, they all require internet, our cameras, you name it. So... What did I get? What did I do? So I said, I did spend a lot of money. This isn't the cheap option. The other one, if you're just looking for something to stream your telly and browse Facebook, it's perfect. This is proper geek mode. So, GLINET. I got the Pulley AX. It's pretty much exactly the same as the Spritz AX, but this one's got a battery. So it will power itself for a day completely independent that's really good for me because when you plug your caravan into the car you lose your power to the rest of the caravan so our Wi-Fi in the caravan would drop so that meant all of the automation I had in here the cameras the reporting on the lithium on the solar, on how much charge I'm getting, stopped. What it also means is the signal strength is good enough that Sam in the car can hotspot. So again, he doesn't need as much data on his phone, even in the car when we're traveling. Yeah, we just went up to Clubfest. It was like four or five hours each way. He can hotspot to this router in the caravan from the car. So what do you get? You get the router. Um, I've already taken it, everything out of the box. You get the router. You get a bunch of internal aerials. And you may find that these are good enough for you. And you don't need anything else. You get 240 power and every adapter known to man for different countries. As you can see, still in the box. Still, oh, sorry, still in the wrapper. Not going to use those. The router takes 12 volts. 
it uses the same cable, the same connector that we used for our last one. It's the same size as you will have to power your TV um, signal booster. So again, from the last video where we did the splitter, it's exactly the same, nothing new. You get it if you want it, a mounting bracket. You get a sticky pad for said mounting bracket, screws and wall plugs. Again, I like doing things that I can undo. One day I will sell the caravan and I want to take all this stuff with me. I don't want any real permanent modifications. So again, I'm not using it. Um, so what have we, what have we done? So internally it's pretty good on the aerial, but again, I've gone for another external aerial. So I'm just gonna switch round now and I'll show you where the router is and what aerial we've got. So here we go. So this is the router just under the seats. And what you'll also see is I've got a USB um, SSD, two terabyte attached to this router. And we've got the Wi-Fi antennas because the Wi-Fi is going to be used mainly in the van. And then external cables going to the outside. So the external cable comes across and just pick it up here and literally comes out just by where the 240 Q feed is. And then coming out of the door to the battery box you can see our 240 hookup cable and aerial cable and then we just run that up the awning rail and there is our external antenna suckered onto the side of the van so we have to attach this piece when we get to site but it's got connections here, they're waterproof and you just push the end of the cable into the back. So that's what it looks like. Um, we found these clips. Um, these are brilliant for attaching cables etc into your awning rail. Again I'll, I'll throw the link, I'm sure we put it off of Amazon or something. Um, they're great for your, your lights and stuff as well if you have Christmas lights or anything. Um, or just, just anything um, so this piece in the end slides into the awning rail and then you've got two different sizes um, that kind of open up and allow the cables to go in so you know really really good it's so fast it allows me to run all of my geeky gadgets the TV we have um, does DNLA which basically means it, it's a standard for movies and pictures so that stick that USB stick I've got plugged in has got two terabytes worth of films um, and the TV just picks it up over the wireless and it and it streams it all when the caravan comes home it connects to my home network this is all built in and it copies any more films that I've put on there if I've recorded stuff for you guys or photos off of my phone in the caravan I can load it to this stick, free the space up on my phone and it synchronizes it back. It's amazing if you're a geek like I am it's worth it. Just thought I'd share with you all. Love to know if you've done something similar if you um, would like to know more if you think Wow, that's way over the top, which probably most of you will. But yeah, love love any feedback and see you all soon.